Hello dear students, welcome to social science class part 2 of unit 2 towards history. In this video we will be learning about nature of human evaluation, animals to be domesticated by early humans, invention of fire, invention of wheel, pot making and story of cultivation. Before that let us recapitulate what we did in the part 1 video. In the previous video, we discussed about what is history, what is VC, what is AD, who is an archaeologist, who is historian. At first, let us see what is Stone Age. The Stone Age is the prehistoric period where weapons and tools were made of stones, bones, wood or horns of animals. Now, let us discuss about nature of human evaluation. Evaluation means the process of change. We are going to see how the changes occur in the human life. Our ancestors led a nomadic life that is unsettled life. They are hunters and food gatherers. They lived in jungles or in caves. They used stone tools and weapons for protection and hunting. The most important thing is that they ate everything raw including flesh of animals they wore leaves skin of animals bark of trees to cover their body what early humans wore skins of animals bark of trees etc next we are going to learn about the animals domesticated by our early humans there might have been chances of wild animals entering their caves but they realized that dogs could help them to prevent the entry of such dangerous animals by its sniffing skill. Hence, they started domesticating dogs for their protection and hunting. Dog is the first animal domesticated by early humans. Later, sheep, goat, cow and pigs were domesticated and provided milk, meat, wool and skin. Which is the first animal to be domesticated by early humans? Dog. Very good. Next, invention of fire. Early humans discovered the use of fire by rubbing two stones together. The name of the stone is flint. At first, humans were afraid of fire. Then they started to eat the flesh of the burnt animal, which was soft and tasty. They used fire for cooking food and for creating light and heat. The fire became important for man in olden times. What is the use of fire children? Fire is used for cooking food and it gives us light and heat. Next we have invention of wheel. Early humans walk on foot to faraway places. They also carry goods because that time there is no transport system found. Later on, when humans saw the stones rolling down from the mountains, they got the idea of making the wheel. First wheel was made out of stone. First wheel was made out of stone. Then they connect the wheel with the cart and use the cart to carry goods to faraway places. In the early Iron Age, they discover iron wheel because the wood wheel was broken easily. Children, what is the first scientific invention of early humans? Wheel. Good. Next we have pot making. The invention of wheel made pot making easier. The baked pot was strong and looked beautiful. This, pot, this pottery used for religious rituals, for cooking and for the bearing of water and foodstuffs. Next, the story of cultivation. By observing and logic, early human learned that plants grow from a seeds. So, they showed seeds and harvested crops. They found it convenient to live along the river areas as crops grew well near the river. Thus, agriculture and farming come into existence. They domesticated animals and used them in their farming. Stone Age was the prehistoric period during which stones were used as weapons to make tools. Stone Age is divided into three periods, Old Stone Age, Middle Stone Age and New Stone Age. 
Old Stone Age is called Paleolithic Age, where people used stone tools made from barks of trees and bones. They lived in small groups. By using these tools, they collected food from plants and trees and also hunted animals. These are the stone tools used during Paleolithic Age. Hand axe, scraper, chopper, grinder, hammer, arrowheads, flakes, Bruins. Next, we are going to see about the food and clothing of Paleolithic age. Paleolithic people were hunter and food gatherers. They cover their bodies with leaves and skins and with uh, tree barks. They ate vegetables, fruits and meat. Next one is Mesolithic age. Mesolithic age is the age where stone tools had developed due to the changes in the climatic conditions and food habits. They used sharp stone tools for hunting. They started to live in houses. These are the tools used to, during Mesolithic age. Bones and, which were made out of bones and ivory ivories. For example, blade, core, knives, shells, triangle, burin, dagger, points. These were these are the tools used during Mesolithic age. Food and clothing during Mesolithic age. Mesolithic people were hunter and food gatherers. They hunt small animals. Then they eat roots and collected honeys. They domesticated animals also. Then they wear skin cloth, sieved skin cloth. Now we are going to see the differences between Paleolithic age and Mesolithic age. Paleolithic tools was rough, big, crude, unpolished, whereas Mesolithic tools was polished and microlith. Now we are going to learn about Neolithic age. People started to cultivate during Neolithic age. Stones were used for grinding and polishing there were they used first tools in the neolithic age that is grinded tools these are the hand grinding tools next they use axe first axe was used during the neolithic age next they use a instrument called shikil to cut the crops it is a hand held agriculture tool designed with variously curved blades and typically used for harvesting next this is the burial part during the neolithic age people started to bury the dead bodies this burial part called huns in which the dead bodies were placed and buried under the ground so during neolithic age people started to bury the dead bodies by using the part called huns Next started Metal Age. Metal Age. Stone Age was followed by Metal Age when people discovered how to use metals. The earliest part of this period is Chalcolithic Age or Copper Age. When copper was discovered and used, copper was used for making tools and weapons. However, Copper tools bend easily, so they were not very effective. They need to be polished regularly. Next came the Bronze Age. So the age of iron and bronze is the period in which the use of iron as a materials to make weapons and tools is discovered and popularized. Next came Bronze Age. Later, another metal called Tin was discovered in some parts of the world. This was mixed with copper to make bronze, which was stronger than copper. This period when bronze became the, became the most commonly used metal is known as Bronze Age. So during the Metal Age, both copper, bronze and iron metals were used. Many artifacts from the Bronze Age have been discovered, such as tools, cooking vessels, weapons, etc. Thank you for attending the class children. I hope that you all enjoy the class. Bye.